Chief of Staff of Iranian Armed Forces Major General Mohammad Bagheri said that the Islamic Republic of Iran will continue the path towards the qualitative and quantitative growth of its missile power. Speaking in the unveiling ceremony of the homegrown Kiber Sheikhan missile on Wednesday, Major General Bagheri emphasized that Iran will continue the path towards the development of its missile power with utmost strength. He seized this opportunity to congratulate the 43rd glorious victory anniversary of the Islamic Revolution in 1979 and said that the missile power of the Islamic Republic of Iran has witnessed more power against the aggressors and global arrogance and will continue its path of growth, promotion, and excellence both in terms of quantity and quality. Despite conspiracies waged by enemies against Islamic Iran since the victory of the Islamic Revolution of Iran, the country managed to foil all their sinister plots under the auspices of the wise leadership of the Islamic Revolution, the top commander said. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, unveiled the new strategic long-range missile with pinpoint accuracy on Wednesday morning in the presence of Chief of Staff of Iranian Armed Forces Major General Mohammad Bagheri and IRGC Commander of the Aerospace Force Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizadeh. The strategic missile is one of the long-range missiles of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, which enjoys unique features. This rocket uses solid fuel. Its optimal design has reduced its weight by one-third compared to similar types, and its preparation and firing time has been reduced by one-sixth. The homegrown has been designed and built by scientists of the Air Force of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Iran's Missiles, Evolution and Arsenal By Michael Elman Michael Elman is Director of Nonproliferation and Nuclear Policy at the International Institute for Strategic Studies and a former UN weapons inspector, is the principal author of Iran's ballistic missile capabilities, a net assessment. Iran has the largest and most diverse ballistic missile arsenal in the Middle East. Israel has more capable ballistic missiles, but fewer in number and type. Most were acquired from foreign sources, notably North Korea. The Islamic Republic is the only country to develop a 2,000 km missile without first having a nuclear weapons capability. Iran is still dependent on foreign suppliers for some key ingredients, components and equipment, but it has the technical and industrial capacity to develop long-range missiles, including an intercontinental ballistic missile, or ICBM. The military utility of Iran's liquid-fuel ballistic missiles is limited because of poor accuracy, so these missiles are not likely to be decisive if armed with conventional, chemical, or biological warheads. But Tehran could use its missiles as a political or psychological weapon to terrorize an adversary's cities and pressure its government. Iran's indigenous Fata 110 family of solid-fuel missiles have achieved the precision necessary to destroy military and critical infrastructure targets reliably, as demonstrated during its January 2020 attack against U.S. forces stationed at Ain al-Assad Air Base in Iraq using Zolfiger missiles. Iran should not be able to reliably strike Western Europe before 2022 or the United States before 2025, at the earliest. Iran's space program, which includes the successful launch of several small, crewed satellites into low Earth orbit using the SAFR and cased carrier rockets, proves the country's growing ambitions and technical prowess. Since 2016, the larger, more powerful Simurgh failed to put a satellite into orbit during four launch attempts and remains a work in progress. Iran's pursuit of ballistic missiles predates the Islamic Revolution. Ironically, the Shah teamed with Israel to develop a short-range system after Washington denied his request for lance missiles. Known as Project Flower Iran provided the funds and Israel the technology. The monarchy also pursued nuclear technologies, suggesting an interest in a delivery system for nuclear weapons. Both programs collapsed after the revolution. Under the Shah, Iran had the largest air force in the Gulf, including more than 400 combat aircraft. But Iran's deep strike capability degraded rapidly after the break in ties with the West limited access to spare parts, maintenance, pilot training and advanced armaments. 
So Tehran turned to missiles to deal with an immediate wartime need after Iraq's 1980 invasion. Iran acquired Soviet-made Scud VS, first from Libya, then from Syria and North Korea. It used these 300 kilometers, 185 miles, range missiles against Iraq from 1985 until the war ended in 1988.